Seven. Well, the psychic of the year, that is Psychic Zoe, joins us next. Eight three hundred one zero two three. That is the number if you want to chat to her live on the radio here at Mix One Hundred Two Point Three. Always best music, Mix One Hundred Two Point Three. Your Monday morning, it is John Jody and Snowy. Eight eleven, and we are joined this morning by the one, the only Psychic Zoe. Good morning, Zoe. Good morning, guys. Now you can get to Medium Zoe at mediumzoe dot com. That is the website if you can't get through this morning. If you want to chat to her now, eight three hundred one zero two three is the number. We've got Tracy on the line uh, for you, Zoe. Good morning, Tracy. Zoe can uh, hear you. Go ahead. Hi, Zoe. Um, I've got a few major things happening in regard to my career this week, and I'm just wondering if you see them being positive changes or no change or what you see. Okay. The first thing is there's got to be a slight government connection of some sort is what I keep seeing around you. So is there an indirect government connection with your role at the moment? Yes. Because I kind of feel like so you can relate to that because I keep seeing government, oh. a government paperwork around you. I keep seeing a lot of females around you as well. Absolutely. So there's got to be a senior role that's been offered to you, but I also, also feel like you're going to be moved to a different section but not actually losing your role. So I wouldn't panic too much about losing your role, but perhaps more of a senior role, administrative type of feel coming your way. But okay. I do see success to do with your job. Do see dollar signs. Also, very quickly, do see really high energy to do with romance around you. So something exciting is coming up around about November for you. Very nice. Thank you very much. Good, Good on you, Trace. Trace. Government female. Yeah. Next Prime Minister, maybe. Or prison, <laughs> uh, women's prison hospital. Women, mm. p- sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Women's prison. Uh, Gail from Mount Barker. Please save Jason. Please. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Hi, Gail. Hi. Hi, sorry. Good morning. Um, my mother made um, a christing gown for my sister and myself out of her wedding dress, and then we used it for our children, and now we've got grandchildren, and we'd like to use it for those as well. The trouble is we can't find it, so I'm wondering whether you have any clues for us. Okay. Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is clear plastic. It's almost like it's in with an actual dark suit. So I'm wondering, is your dad still physically here? Because I keep no. an older male around you, and I feel like this father figure saying, in with my suit or connected with his suit. So I feel like one of the girls, so it's almost like he's saying one of the girls or the eldest girl has his dark suit. In that dark suit, I keep seeing this sort of folded, sort of almost like a sort of coffee cream coloured lace. Um, so I do feel like it's in with cardboard boxes. Inside the cardboard box is like clear plastic, almost like when you go to the dry cleaners. Um, but right. I feel like it's with dad's suit. So we need to go through dad's boxes. I know that sounds unusual. Usual, but I almost feel like someone opened the boxes. I don't know if it's a daughter of yours that opened up the boxes um, right. and was looking for photos, and as a result, someone may have accidentally put the christening stuff in there. Oh, good. All right, then. Let's so try. look for Dad's boxes. Let us know how you Excellent. go, Gail. 8300 that is the studio number if you want to chat to Psychic Zoe. Call us now here at Mix 102.3. Hi, it's Lynn Hayes. And I'm... Monday, it is 822 with John, Jody and Snow talking footy in the next 20 minutes. He is Cocker Hoop. He is Dougie Hawkins. Thanks to Professionals Real Estate Group for all your real estate needs. We'll have a chat to him real soon. Psychic Zoe joins us this morning too. 8300 That is the number if you want to chat to the Psychic One. John... Kerry from Craigmore. Uh, interesting story. Go ahead, Kerry. Zoe is listening to you. Oh, good morning. Thank you, Zoe. I'm so glad I got through. I've been trying to get through for a little while. Um, we have a presence that seems to be around in the evening. My daughter and I can feel it. Sometimes it's leaning against her um, and she can feel cold breath. Um, yeah, I'm just wondering. It doesn't feel like it's somebody that we know. So okay. I'm just wondering if maybe they have a message for us or something. Okay, it seems to be, the first thing that comes to my mind is I do actually get a playful spirit, a fun spirit. Um, sometimes you can actually get animals that actually come through the home as well. But the first thing that comes to my mind, because uh, again, I work very quickly, I keep seeing three spirit around you. I see a five-year-old boy that seems to be wandering through. So that could be mm-hmm. associated to do with the land behind you. Um, mm-hmm. So which means that to me, you've got to be close to a park. Do you live behind a park uh, or is there a park behind you or... Yeah. There's one in front of us. Okay, because yes. I feel like the little boy seems to want to play with the park uh, or in the park. The second thing, so here's someone that sort of wanders through, but it's not bad spirit. The second thing that comes to my mind is an older female that pops in every now and then to do with your daughter. So this is connected to do with Nan's side of the family. Um, and I feel like she's saying she's she's got a name like Lily or Lillian, um, but she seems to be someone that's on mum's side of the family. And also very quickly, I just saw an orange cat as well. So I think it's playful spirit, not negative spirit I see around you, but it's more predominantly a young boy. I actually didn't feel like it was bad spirit. Uh, when you get that cold sensation, that's just validation that spirit around you telling you that they're watching over you. 
Oh, lovely. Thank you very much for that. Well, thanks for your call, Kerry. Thanks, Kerry. I love that Kerry's rung up and gone, I think there's a spirit around me. <laughs> got three. So he's gone, no, you got three, love. <laughs> <laughs> Look behind. Look behind. <laughs> Janelle from Freeling, good morning. Hi, Zoe. Um, I had a pretty bad car accident a few weeks ago, and um, the person who hit me actually drove away. Oh, and okay. I'm wondering if you'll be found at some stage um, and... Okay. If I'll change jobs because of the accident. Oh. Okay. Um, all right. Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is a dark haired male. So this is interesting. I'm, I keep seeing a taxi around you. So I'm wondering if a taxi driver may come forward. So keep an eye at your local police station. Um, okay. because I actually feel like there's a taxi driver, dark haired, very short dark haired male, um, who mm-hmm. I think is really going to come forward with some information. So even though oh. you may not have thought that anyone was looking around the corner, I feel like someone was coming around a corner and actually did witness the accident. Um, so I do oh, feel like there's going to be. Gonna um, some justice in the next sort of four months, though. Also to do with your job, I don't know if you've had problems with your legs or your hips. Um, mm-hmm. So has it been an issue to do yeah. with your leg or your hip? Yeah, the, the accident um, has hurt my back and okay. pretty badly. Just, they're saying that there is going to be a change to do with your job, but it may be that you may be three months out of work, um, but at the same time I actually see workers' compensation around you. So I do feel like money is going to be slow, but it will probably pick up in about sort of five and a half months. So, But I do feel like the taxi driver is going to come forward and help you out, hun. That would be fantastic. Excellent. Where was the accident? Moment, we have no clue. Um, it was on the Port River Expressway. Mm-hmm. How long ago? So, on the 27th of May. All right, if you saw anything, folks, help out Janelle. And, Thanks and, for your call, yeah, Janelle. Thank you. thank you so much. 8.25. Thank you, Zoe, for coming Thanks, in Zoe. this morning. Thank you. Uh, just on the ball, uh, if you want to get to Psychic Zoe, you can at mediumzoe.com. That is the website. And look out soon for the new Aura Spray. Yes, it's going to cleanse your world. Whoa, there you go. <laughs> uh, 8.26. Got, got a m- two-litre pack for John. <laughs> <laughs> Apply it to those difficult areas. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, Bernard Tomic. He's in fine form. Hey, Zoe, how do you see Bernard going in the uh, Wimbledon, Wimbledon? The young Aussie oh, lad. I actually think he's going to do really well. I think it's going to be controversy to do with points, but I actually think he's going to do really, really well. Will he win? Mm. I, I've got a funny feeling he might come very, very close, but there's something to do with international around him. I think Paris, he's just going to go absolutely nuts. Oh, the French. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Roland Garros. <laughs> you heard it here first. 826. Uh, news coming up next. So what?